the Zeontech Crane 3-axis gimbal. This is the film gear I've always dreamed of. So here's how it works. You attach the camera to the gimbal, then you turn it on. And now you have super smooth movements for your films. As the name implies, it stabilizes in three axes. The setup itself is pretty easy. With the standard 1-4 inch screw, you attach the camera to the mount. Then you need to adjust all three modules so the camera is in balance. When you're done, the camera should be balanced and resting by itself. And then you turn it on. And the gimbal does the rest. The gimbal can operate optimal with up to 1.8 kilos. So it works great with my Sony a7S, Canon 700D, and Anders's GH4. It also comes with two sets of batteries, and from my experience, they both last around three hours of continuous use. In addition, it comes in this neat little suitcase, so you can safely carry it with you. Yo. Yo. What I like most about it is that it's so easy to use. The first day of filming, I was meeting Anders and Nikolai. So I basically just played around with it, trying all kinds of different angles and movements. Everything you see is filmed with one hand, with no stabilization in post. Anders had just gotten a hoverboard, so we could test these two things together. He was also followed by a little monkey. And of course, we had to try both the hoverboard and the gimbal together, which resulted in some ultra-smooth tracking shots. There's three different modes. The first is pan mode, which follows when you turn your hands left or right. This works great when you're following a subject. Second, there's lock mode. This keeps the camera fixed in one direction. This is best for cinematic crane and dolly shots. Then third, the pan and tilt mode, which follows your hand in every direction. This can be an advantage if you run and gun, though it's the one I've used the least. There's also this little joystick, which lets you tilt the camera up and down and to the sides. You can also film in inverted mode, which is great for dramatic low-angle shots. In addition, you can download a free app to remotely control the entire gimbal. This feature alone is a great way to get smoother shots. Naturally, there are a few limitations to such a gimbal. Due to its size, there are some lenses, microphones and extra equipment that might block the camera from turning completely around. And obviously, it's difficult to change the focus while filming. I've had to use either a predetermined focus point or autofocus when using it. But still, it's very nice to have one arm completely free unlike some other gimbals. 
Some of you were also wondering if it made any noise. Well, what do you think? Does it sound good or bad? Of course, all of this functionality comes at a price. This gimbal currently costs around $630. So why not just get a Steadicam instead? I'm not very good with the Steadicams myself, so I'm going to visit the expert himself, Anders. Hello! Hello, Anders. Let's get the gimbal, eller? Yeah. So Anders and I went outside to test. It was snowing pretty heavy, so it was an extra challenge. First, we tried handheld. As expected, it was pretty shaky. Then Anders took out his beloved Steadicam. Very small and easy to carry. The downside is that he had to spend a few minutes to adjust it. Anders did a great job with the Steadicam, especially considering the challenging weather conditions and it was definitely smoother than handheld. Then finally, we took out the gimbal. This was definitely the smoothest. Now, I actually think that all of these three shots could have been used in a film depending on the theme. The shaky handheld, for example, could be cool as an action scene. And the Steadicam feels a little more organic. But for the smoothest shots and easiest to use, I think the gimbal was the best. What do you think? Which one was your favorite? So, in conclusion, does this make you a better filmmaker? Well, yes and no. Getting more advanced equipment doesn't automatically make you an expert. But what this gimbal does is give you more creative freedom. With this, you can effortlessly make any scene more dynamic and cinematic by adding a crane shot or a dolly shot or a tracking shot of your actor. It simply looks better and increases your production value. So all in all, I'm genuinely impressed with this gimbal. It's easy to use, great build quality and lots of cool functions. In addition, it's really fun to use. So I highly recommend it. If you have any questions, just comment below. Thank you for watching and see you soon.